Welcome. I have a Procmox server. It's uh, just got one node on this server, and it's got local ZFS storage. And unfortunately, one of the hard drives has died. We can see that the hard drive, that the uh, pool status. If I go to ZFS and look at the pool status, we've got a pool called Tank, and it's showing degraded. And if I double click on that, um, we can see the status. We've got the first hard drive out of the three, which is showing faulted. Um, so we can see the status, one or more devices have failed. Uh, so we can replace a faulted drive or use ZPool clear. So I'm just going to replace the faulted drive. So I'm going to shut the system down, replace the drive, and then we'll see what we need to do to get it back up and running. Uh, from the interface, I can't see, there doesn't seem to be any way of uh, recovering it from the interface. So I'm going to SSH into it and we'll do it that way. Uh, but this is the drive that we need to replace and we've got no options to replace it from what I can see using the web UI. So let me shut it down and replace the drive. Sheridan Computers, IT, Communications, Support. We've rebooted. Let's take a look at the disk status. Uh, so I'll click on the node. Disks ZFS, so we can see it's still degraded. Um, we've been told the actions to run ZPool replace. But there's no way to do this from the um, web interface, so we're going to have to do this from um, the console. So I'll SSH in in a second. Uh, but as you can see, the disk ID has now changed. So let's SSH in and take a look how we can fix it. Right, so SSH, stick the password in to log in. We're going to do a ZPool status. Uh, so we can see that we've got the uh, drive ID here, and it says was whatever this is. So we can usually just do ZPool tank replace. The pool, sorry, replace, then the pool name, so tank. And we're getting this uh, cannot resolve path because we've removed the drive. Uh, so we need to get the disk ID. Let me see if this one's the same. So 3020. Let me do a ZDB. Uh, and we can see that the disk ID here is 3020 ends in 3020 so this is the disk id of the one that we've removed uh, and obviously it's not there now so let me do ls dev disk by id uh, and we have the new one here so what i'm going to do is zpool status and i want Z pool tank replace. We're going to have to do it by this disk ID. So if I copy that, so replace it that disk ID, and then I want uh, this is our new drive. Let me copy that. New first us dev disk by ID, and we can't do it because I've typed it in reverse order again. So. Zpool replace, not tank replace, so you need to replace first, not the pool name, so Zpool replace, and the pool name, okay, so that worked, so we've, uh, rather than use the disk name, because it had disappeared and we couldn't refer to it, uh, we've used the disk ID, and then we've just replaced it with our new one. So now if we do ZPool status, so we can see the original one is still showing replacing. So we can see if the original drive unavailable. We've got the new one, resilvering. Um, and we can see the percentage done up here. So we're at 2.6% done, so 2.8. Um, so this will take a while. So I say, we'll come back to this in a minute. And we can also check this from the web UI to see where we're up to. Um, double click. 
Sukze Red Red Z1 replacing. We've got the old drive which is unavailable and the new drive here which has been replaced. Um, so as I say, we'll just come back so we can obviously reload it. Um, we can see the progress here. I'll come back to this in a second. Um, or in some time when it's finished. We're coming towards the end here, so it's reserved 18 gig and we're 100% done. So if I refresh this again, we should be good. So state degraded, you can see the pool name. Um, let me just refresh this again. And now we're good. We're back online. And that is how you replace the drive in a failed ZFS pool. Let's just take a look at the uh, interface. So now through the web interface, uh, we can see our pool and it's now showing online. And that's how, that's basically what we need to do to get the, uh, replace the drive and get the failed pool up and running. Whilst this was our test Proxmox system, uh, it is something that we use every day, and it's the first time that I'd actually tried to replace a, a drive in a failed ZFS pool on Proxmox. So I've documented it for my own purposes, and I wanted to share it just in case anybody else thought it was a bit of a daunting task replacing a failed drive in a ZFS pool, since there's apparently no way to do it from the Proxmox interface. If you did find this video useful, please hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.